Hello everyone, I'm Cobra Guru. Today I want to make the review of Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Yes, the game exists for several months already. Actually, four months. When in August the game went out, I wanted it. To, I wanted to buy it very, very much because I've enjoyed Human Revolution a lot. But the first reviews on Steam were bad, really bad. So I decided to wait. And last week, I saw that the game was in promotion, a mega super promotion on Steam, minus 67%, means that I was able to buy the game, a 4 months old game, for only 16.50 euro. Wow! It makes me think that the game hasn't sold correctly enough in order for promotion like this to happen incredible so I bought it I started to play it and in comparison with human revolution it's a disaster not about the story but about the realization about graphical problems so I will show you. I have already a game, but I will make a new one. I will stick with give me a challenge. And uh, I am in maximum, eh? maximum graphics. Uh, you know that I'm trying to play always like this. Uh, I will keep the maximum cinematic, those that are interesting. So of course, if you haven't played Human Revolution, you can watch the video, but of course, I won't. I once thought I could save the world. Now look at it. Another augmented terror attack. 251 passengers aboard Sista Airlines Flight 451 were killed. When an augmented passenger broke into the plane's cockpit and ruthlessly butchered its flight crew. Details recovered from the black box recorder suggest that the man may have been suffering flashbacks to the AUG incident. That horrible day two years ago when augmented people all over the world flew into a psychotic killing spree, causing the greatest loss of life in recent history. Our uh, same thing is it's in the air for a couple years already. Cinematic, 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 always horribly long, always difficult. Are you? Well, if I do, McCready, I guarantee you'll never see it coming. I believe they put cinematic to explain us the game. But it, if the game, the story of the game was good enough, probably they shouldn't need to put so many cinematic. Uh, something bothers me in this game, it's the hair. Most of the time it looks like people have hair with grease, you know? It's, it's glue nearly. Don't like special forces the way it's made. Who disappeared during the incident. And he's come out of hiding. That cannot be good. It's not. He's selling weapons and military grade augments to terrorists. And the face, this the animation of the face. Look, it's the only the eyes and the mouth that, Best you see in the that moves. But the rest of the face doesn't move. So it's not equilibrate. It's not balanced like at all. Last week. 
Our arms dealer sent a message to the Jin, offering to sell them a shitload of black market merchandise dirt cheap. They told Singh to handle the buy. They're not gonna like it when Interpol disrupts their party. Singh's cover really that good? It is right now. We need to keep it that way. This is where the deal's going down. A half-finished high-rise hotel that's been abandoned ever since the incident. It's not a pretty picture inside. Let me guess. Most of the laborers were augmented with heavy-duty industrial rigs. So when the incident hit, and they all went schizo, things got gruesome real fast. And no one, except for some homeless junkies, have been inside the place... The foreheads, the chick doesn't What's move enough. Singh's meeting Shepard on the ground floor, inside the hotel's main atrium. He sent the bulk of his gin crew to the penthouse levels to secure a... The facial expression... To take up uh, positions not the complete. ...and make the arrest. Jensen, you're going in solo from the roof. My objectives? Keep the gin from joining the party. As far as we can tell, only one route connects the atrium to the penthouse level. A halfway decent elevator shaft. Here. I want you to block access to it. Fine. Just cut me loose. Do you plan on relying solely on your augments for this one? I'd recommend taking a little hardware. Just to be sure. So if you've played already Human Revolution, it's the same. We choose non-lethal or lethal. I'm not leaving my six exposed. Give me something lethal. Your call. But Singh's undercover in all this. So watch your fucking sights. What about range? There's lots of wide spaces and high ceilings in there. But a number of tight and constrained rooms too. So it's a crapshoot, really. And I will use... Well, I'm not looking to play a rifle. Anyone in there. Give me something with distance. Your call. Less chance of being seen and compromising Singh that way. One last thing, Jensen. Singh said that Jin are using some sort of portable Wi Fi device to boost communications. He's got a better chance of maintaining cover if you disable it. I'll keep an eye out for it. But aren't we on the clock here? You said there's a sandstorm moving in. There is, and we got the intel on this mission at the very last minute. So we're scrambling a little. If it comes to it, your number one priority is keeping the djinn out of that atrium. Copy that. Time to put away your happy thoughts, gentlemen. We're approaching the target building. You're up first, Jensen. Let's do this. Task Force Action. This is Knife Leader. Engage Hush Tribes and descend to Angels 1-5. I found the carbon of his augmentation not well made neither. But uh, maybe it's just my feeling. Oh yeah, his hair moving with the wind. I'm not making a video to criticize a game at maximum, eh? but I was waiting for it so much. I wanted to enjoy it so much. Team leader, this is Jensen. I'm on the roof. Solid copy. Move into the building. The access route you need to block is at the far end of the penthouses. And keep in mind, the direct route might not be the easiest one. Roger that. McCready will advise once his team is on the ground. Miller out. One thing that w bothers me a lot. Highlighted, you have everything that you can touch, use. Okay? The problem is that what you can simply grab and throw are highlighted the same way as what you can grab and use, which is completely different and it's really disappointment. He's so much powerful, he has so many augments that he could have a scanner to make the difference between all items. So, of course, we can sprint. You know that in the minimap, the way we move makes noise. So, 
sorry. Walking won't make noise, but sprinting, yes. Okay, we'll have a, a tutorial guide for those who haven't played before. Showing each time that we have new things, uh, new items that we pick, uh, new area, etc, etc. So there are plenty of bodies uh, that we need to check in order to grab uh, money. So we we'll crouch once again. Jensen, we're moving through. Oh, fuck. What's wrong? The Jin have got a few jennies up and running. We're gonna have to hack keypads. You should enjoy it, McCready. They have colors and shapes. Just remember, red means bad. Fuck you. So, we destroy. We keep going. This is also a fact that some people were criticizing. When we climb, when we um, go undercover, the game switch from first person view to third person view. We can do something. Yaha! <laughs> For a game of this status for a game a triple a game look at the sky it's fixed yes yeah, the sand here are moving but not the sky it's fixed so a little bit of climb with space Let's move. Uh, empty. So we start to use the augmentation. We press B to open the wheel. We equip smart vision using middle mouse button. press the middle mouse button and we see that there is a destructible area so you see that I just used a punch and the smart vision and it consume energy keypad disabled So, you collect biocell, put back the electricity, but broken cable, we can't. So, we jump. If you played Human Revolution, you may remember hacking in here they have changed the way the hack is uh, the first thing that you have to note is that to move the camera on the hacking area we use the keyboard mouse doesn't do nothing so I always do fortify then we start the Anomaly detected. Capture. Trace program initiated. Now we click and we capture. At the same time, we can fortify. Door is open. And we start. I have never been able to disable this. I don't know. Why? How can I do? So, uh, take undercover, press F. 
And this starts the issue. They have implemented a tactical movement. You see? I press space. My character is moving to the destination I put. Okay? The problem is that when you are in cover mode like this, if you have, if you press, look at that, a space, why it is written in French, espace, space, hold, will make my character move and change turn, because here it's, a bit, uh, it's not straight. If I press space single, I will, I will vault over. And if at the same time I press space, the character will jump over and go there and be detected. Because I have had this issue several times. Another big problem. I will just punch him. And I don't know why, but now it consumes energy. Why in the hell have they done that? So, we can, you see, eh, I could go here, I could go on the big door also. But I've decided to go like this. So, yeah, the tactical can help. But, I don't understand why they have done that. Means that we are obliged to shoot everyone. You see? My energy went down. Oh, he will see me. This one I killed him. And once again, each time you use, you kill or you stun someone, uh, you consume energy. So, the fact is to you uh, better to use the gun. This is sad. Oh, yeah, forgot. So, now we can collect parts available to craft items. Uh, this is the mission. And I already collected uh, a special key. Code. Remember to read the data that you collect in order to open doors. Jensen, Mac, listen up. Doppler shows that sandstorm's moving in fast. It's big and... Okay, so I clean all the area and now we can take the lift. And the only way to refill the energy the only way to refill the energy it's to consume eh? uh, you see it's to consume by yourself so each time I've played this mission the this enemy is always going down when I arrive. 
Oh, forgot. Um, to assign weapons and items tools to the quick bar, we highlight the weapon and press on the key we want to assign. I start to think that it's really much better to go using guns than and we uh, we weapons, ammunition, than to consume energy. It's sad, eh? So you also probably know that there is always hidden passage that gives you experience. Traveler experience, for example. Last thing we need is the drums breaking down. McCready, how you making out? Slower than expected. It's like someone's told a fucking cemetery down here. Say again? When the shit hit the fan in 27, the rush must have been for the stairs. There's corpses everywhere. A lot of your cousins are here too, Jensen. You want me to grab you any spare parts? No parts. But I take mine with cream and two sugars while you're asking. Infiltration is at this point, eh? at this point of the beginning of the story, is the best way eh? because there are plenty, plenty of enemies. Uh, having a very good combat rifle is something interesting, except that there is no refill. So we will be empty of ammunition very quick if we shoot them all. So uh, we'll try like this. I'm certain it was not. to you do like this huh? Jensen watch your 20 working my way through the penthouses remember to keep an eye out for the gins communications booster if you can disable it Roger that so of course shooting I have attracted the attention of the enemies over there. So what I will do... Uh. Mm -hmm. There was a wall. So I need to launch it. Like this.
Huh? You see? The big issue is the fact that... that they launch flashbang or stun bang. That was a fragmentation <laughs> grenade. I don't know why he's shooting. Yeah. Logically, I have killed them all. When there is... It's simple, eh? Until there are enemies, there is a searching or the threat level indication under the minimap. Okay, so I am able to collect some little bit of ammunition. I got an info. You need to check them all, even if majority of them are useless. I wish we could simply pass over them and collect their ammunition or well. It would have been a good thing. Uh, so, in here, my solution Miller, I've just hey. the Gen's comms booster. Should make it harder for them to listen in on the deal. Good work. With luck, Singh's cover will still be intact when this is over. Roger that. Moving on to primary target now. I thought that my grenade would have uh, killed boss. Well. One left. Man, man, shut up. You see what I was saying? This is a throwable something, item, and this can be grabbed to consume. And they look the same. It's really disappointing. Uh, ah, he's here. Ah, empty. No weapon. Okay, I will advance. The fact is that hunting down items, checking all of them to see if the item uh, can be used or not is something after a while not bothering, but it's time consuming so much. It's, it's disappointing. Look, you see, one can of beer is collectible to be used and the box no. So, if you want to survey all the game, all the universe, uh, I found that a little bit sad what they've done. So I could have gone up, it's... Uh, I went up last time, and this time I will do like this. Jensen, we're inside the atrium, taking up positions on the terraces. What's your 20? Still moving. 
Or hurry the fuck up. Enemy helos inbound, and this sandstorm's getting close. You get that comms booster disabled? Affirmative. Booster's fried. So maybe the Tin Man does have a heart, after all. Way to look out for your team. McCready out. <laughs> How to close the door? Got us access route secure. Jin shouldn't be a problem. Over. Copy that. About fucking time. Enemy helo sighted. All right, strike force. Position and hold. Strike one. In position. Strike two. All set. Strike three. Yeah. Strike four in position and holding, boss. Eyes up, safety's off, guys. Yeah, no shit, Brown knows. Watch your fucking mouth, Halliday. Both of you shut up. Five in position. Everybody stay sharp. Singh's got eyes on Shepard. Patching you in now. Target's in the AO. Remember, Singh's down there, so watch your fire. You got balls, Singh? Executing a buy with a sandstorm on our ass. I cannot take credit for Mother Nature, mister. You can call me Shepard. How biblical. Are these the weapons? The Orcs. They're getting harder to come by. Guns are still on the chopper. Show me the cash quick and we'll... Oh, what the... Shepard is dead! What? By who? What's going on down there? Miller, this isn't the Jinn. Repeat, it's not the Jinn. <laughs> They're after the weapons! Open fire! Open fire! Weapons free! Open up our... Creed, Jesus. make it a grab for the chopper. You got a shot? Negative! Negative! We're under heavy fire down here! We can't let that chopper take off, Jensen! I got it. End of first part. Uh, we'll make other video showing you the continuation. Uh, the next video will sh show you the, this big fight with other issue and the uh, beginning of the open world. I will call it like this: the open city in Prague. Thank you all for watching. Uh, Deus Ex: Mankind Divided. The story is good, it's a continuation of Human Revolution, even if now we don't know it exactly yet. There are some issues that makes the game... That... I don't know how can I can explain that. The fun is not here. I will play the game, I will finish the story, but there is something that prevents me to enjoy it like I had like I felt when I was playing Human Revolution. So thank you all for watching. Have fun, play a lot, take care of you guys and see you soon. Bye bye.